And so joining us is Sister, who will introduce herself. Sister, welcome. Tell us your name and uh, what you uh, which Lord you serve in this archdiocese. I'm Sister Mary Bashi, uh, the director, Caritas Nairobi. And in a brief, Caritas Nairobi is the social development arm of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, mandated uh, to coordinate and facilitate all the interventions uh, of development and social transformation programs for the people of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. Uh, meaning supporting uh, all the communities uh, within the Nairobi and the Kiabu counties mm -hmm. in terms of social transformation and social development. Uh, so Caritas Nairobi is one of the instrumental departments of the Archdiocese of Nairobi whereby we are mandated uh, to make sure that the social transformation work and all the projects uh, pertaining the support of the people of the Archdiocese of Nairobi is taken care of. Now, uh, talking about the Archdiocese of Nairobi and uh, generally, uh, how are you organized in such a way that uh, uh, the Caritas in Nairobi will uh, facilitate the roles that are, that are meant to, 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 be, to, be, to be taken over by the programs? How, what kind of programs do you have as Caritas in Nairobi? Um, the Archdiocese of Nairobi is well structured and uh, when we talk about structure, we are talking about uh, different departments that have been established and created and, and uh, supported by the office of the Archbishop of Nairobi uh, to take care of different issues. Um, at the level of, of the diocese, we talk about uh, Caritas in Nairobi, that is one de department. We talk about medical department, we talk about education department, we talk about um, pastoral department that takes care of all these ecclesial movements and also uh, the pastoral work of the people of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. We have other smaller departments like the CJPC. We also have uh, another small uh, department that takes care of the cause of the canonization mm -hmm. of uh, the servant of God, Michael Morris Cardinal Otunga, and other small ones that are coming up at the moment. Um, so, like I have mentioned, uh, that Caritas Nairobi is the department mandated mm -hmm. uh, to take care of the social development and the social transformation of the archdiocese of, of, of Nairobi. Uh, we do that through different mandates, eh? and uh, currently we are executing our mandate uh, following four big mandates. Eh? Mm -hmm. One is what we call the microfinance or uh, self-help program. Mm -hmm. It has already been mentioned by the procurator when he was giving his uh, his report. Um, this is a project. This is a program that has put together uh, 195 self-help groups wow. uh, within the whole Archdiocese of Nairobi mm -hmm. and uh, having put together uh, more than 140,000 members. Uh, the procurator also put it well uh, that uh, the program itself and its coordination has been able to put um, or to consolidate uh, to a tune of 4 billion Kenyan shillings. Mm -hmm. Those are the chairs from all these members. Eh? So it is a program that is well embraced within mm -hmm. the Archdiocese of Nairobi because out of 114 parishes, this program has spread to more than 100 parishes. Okay. Eh? Yeah, and uh, it, it, it's a project that uh, has really a uh, done what we call the the economic empowerment mm -hmm. uh, to our people uh, to the level of even now uh, dreaming and bringing together the concept of starting the caritas microfinance bank mm -hmm. that we are talking about today actually in belief i would want to say uh, that uh, 
the other 50 percent that the procurator didn't talk about eh, in terms of the injection of the capital or the addressing of the same capital to start the microfinance bank it came from these groups okay. uh, so it is a program that has really uh, supported a big community within this dosage Econo the second mad sorry yeah economic development i wanted to, to follow up on that yes. how do you identify those who are in need of your services do you have a criteria that you identify exactly who is going to benefit okay uh and let me hope that this um, I'm, I'm talking about the socio economic development sure sure through all those other money sure eh? yeah uh, and the things eh? yeah w w when we are identifying the beneficiaries of the the beneficiaries to our project eh, or our programs we normally work with the communities mm -hmm. and uh, these communities we go identifying them through the the agidosis of Nairobi be uh, such uh, church structure mm -hmm. that that connects us with the with the people on the ground at the grass grassroots level and I want to say this, Caritas, wherever we are in the whole world, uh, we talk about uh, an organization that serves everybody in the community, regardless of the social status, regardless of the race, regardless of uh, any affiliation. Okay. So we are there for everybody. So they don't have to be Catholics to they, benefit? They, they are not supposed to be Catholics. And um, actually then using the church, our Catholic church structure on the ground, we are able now to connect with the, with the parish priest. Then at times we even uh, connect with the civic church. We have this kind of a structure. Yeah. So I was talking about uh, the, the, main, the, the one theme that is the economic development that is self help program. We have the second one that we are talking about agriculture and environment uh, environmental uh, conservation mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. It is through this uh, program that we have been able also to reach uh, at the poor farmers. Yes. And uh, remember, when we are talking about the jurisdiction of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, mm -hmm. we are talking about the Nairobi County and the Kiambu County. Two counties. Uh, Nairobi County is a metropolitan mm -hmm. kind of uh, county. When we get to Kiambu, we are the rural center. Uh, so this is where our program started. When we talk about the Matana, we talk about the Mutunguru and all these other, other uh, projects that the procurator was talking about. Uh, this is a program that started uh, with the simple activities, mm -hmm. identifying uh, a poor family that cannot be able to raise a cow okay. or even a, a daily goat. And uh, with the support of um, his eminence, uh, Cardinal Jewel, we were able to identify those uh, families and be able to buy for them papers okay. or daily goods. Whereby uh, the, the, the kind of um, program we use, uh, uh, it, 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 it indicated that uh, if you are given uh, a hyper, after that hyper gives back to gives birth to the first hyper, mm -hmm. you return it to Caritas Nairobi office. Oh, really? Yes, and then from there we prepare another family in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, another family that can benefit from uh, from uh, from the, your work. Supposing the farmer so says, okay, oh, I, I, I either the Haifa died or they, they, they made a feast out of it. How do you ad address that? Uh, there was nothing like that because if you happen to mess up with, your, with our program, we were patient enough to okay. wait for you mm -hmm. to get the second haver okay. and come for it. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that I can be able to help the neighbor. Ah, because right. actually there is a component that's very important eh? that that comes from the Caritas, uh, uh, Caritas fraternity. Mm -hmm. That we are there for everybody. Okay. We are there for mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. By the way, Caritas is a Latin word that means charity. Charity. Concern, mm -hmm. kindness. We journey with each other. Mm -hmm. So um, when we were doing that, uh, the whole issue of giving you a haifa, you give it, you give back the first haifa, and then we prepare that haifa for another family. Mm -hmm. We are teaching the community okay. about the issue of Sharing. charity, the issue of 
empowering each other mm -hmm. at the issue of taking care of our social, mm -hmm. our social needs. Eh? Yeah, so that program actually has grown up to the level where we are talking about uh, uh, establishing uh, a milk processing unit. Oh, really? Whereby, um, like it has been uh, mentioned, um, this is a program that is 11 years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, we have been able to grow the farmer's uh, fraternity up to a tune of 3,700 farmers. Eh? Wow. And uh, after giving the heifers to the community members uh, for a number of like six parishes, then from there we, we got to phase two of the same program, uh, whereby we, we, we now also, uh, with the partners, we got a, a, an AI, artificial insemination mm -hmm. package, which helped us now also uh, to upgrade the pedigree okay. of those of the, local of the cows. Yeah? And then from there, the, the, the phase three, the three of this program, it, it is now helping these farmers mm -hmm. to do what we call commercial dairy farming. farming. Okay. We generate from with them from where they are getting the havers. And remember, these are families who didn't even have, mm -hmm. have, have capacity yeah. to acquire one. We generate with them, uh, we upgraded those havers mm -hmm. to a commercial farming whereby now we are collecting their milk mm -hmm. and helping them I said it okay. actually as we talk on a daily basis these days we are collecting 5,000 liters really do you have a do you have a farm uh, a dairy farm or a, a cooperative where that that milk is channeled for the sake of at the, the moment while we are waiting for the the, the, the for the the archdiocese of Nainombe, mm -hmm. uh, the Mulu farm uh, uh, processing unit mm -hmm. to be constructed and get fully uh, Operation. operational. We are working with other institutions outside okay. the daily institutions, mm -hmm. eh? uh, whereby the milk that we collect, eh? we, are, we have like two or three partners who are helping us to process it in terms of pasteurizing the same mm -hmm. milk before we take it to the to the market, eh? market okay. actually we have like um, like 12 uh, retail marketers we are we are working okay. with eh? and so um what we are saying is that uh, within the next two or three months from now we'll have our own company full, oh. full uh, operational Amen. and ready uh, to uh, pasteurize our milk process it and then we we we, we sell it to our to, to our different institutions within Nairobi, Kiabu, and all that. His Eminence has been, I'm sure, has been very pivotal in the guidance of the ideas that you are now putting into place. And uh, being now that he's in, in office, he's out of office, uh, how do you think that this program is going to continue, Caritas Nairobi? Ah, Caritas Nairobi will continue because uh, he has left us two or three. Uh, strategies that are very important for us. One, he has left for us the structures and the systems. Uh, I'm 10 years old working with his eminence. Okay. Eh? And when I, w when I started working with the, with the Caritas in Nairobi, that was the 1st of um, March 2011, Caritas didn't have structures. Oh. Because actually, unfortunately, uh, it was... Um, rebranded from the social development office mm -hmm. like two years before and then un unfortunately uh, the director of that time she passed on eh? okay. uh, so there was a gap of um, of kind of leadership for one year so uh, by the time i was coming into the office there was nothing no structure no system nothing so for him eh, holding our hands and uh, helping us understand that we must set up an office, an operational office that can serve those communities eh, is one big thing that he did. Secondly, he was also very instrumental in also linking us at the beginning to the traditional partners eh, who could support us with, with the resources. Eh. Uh, to do the work that we are doing, like I have said, uh, we, we used to go uh, 
um, provide the, the farmers with havers, mm -hmm. uh, daily goods and all that. Eh? And even those who wanted to do even poultry farming and all that. Yeah, the very first partners I worked with when I came to the office, actually I was introduced to them by his, his eminence, mm -hmm. Cardinal Jue. And so apart from that, eh, uh, I would also say this, eh? he has also uh, left us with a, with a full fledged uh, office which has been uh, supported and capacity built mm -hmm. to the level whereby we are able now uh, to participate and, uh, and also uh, get partners, big partners mm -hmm. like the Italian okay. government. Mm -hmm. That's the partner we are working with. Okay. It's the partner who is supporting us now to establish this processing unit. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you, you see, he had a real journey with that, okay. eh? with us from the structures and systems setting, helping us get to those partners, helping us uh, to get the capacity that we needed mm -hmm. to the level of being able now uh, also to convince other big stakeholders in the social development world eh, that we are able also also to do it because working with an NA, with a partner like uh, like Italian uh, Italian government eh, mm -hmm. that is a, 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 that is an organization or an office that you would never be able to receive their funds mm -hmm. if you don't conform to yeah. the international standards exactly and if your capacity cannot be able to uh, to talk to them like sure, uh, like sure. my dad uh, yes yes uh, organization that they give you resources you are able to implement uh, the project and the results are seen all there is that positive impact on the ground well done sister we like to thank you and congratulate you for the yes. work you have done yes probably your last word to the viewers who may be <laughs> in need of assistance or advice in oh. any uh, aspect of life that caritas Nairobi is taking charge of okay i've talked about the social development uh, of caritas Nairobi in terms of the server program or microfinance program uh, in terms of um, agriculture and uh, environmental conservation, mm -hmm. there are two other mandates that we do have. Uh, and that is the relief uh, service. We do relief service. Okay. And our relief service is, is, is in two categories. Eh? Short relief or longer relief. Eh? Longer relief, we have, uh, we have homes, the charitable homes we are taking care of, of especially that it takes care of the vulnerable, vulnerable people within the diocese of Nairobi. Mm -hmm. So if there is somebody with a case here and there, we have like we are taking care of rescue dada uh, that takes care of the street girls of mm -hmm. Nairobi. We have quite a home of peace that takes care of the uh, of the, the the boys street boys in Nairobi. We have Joy Home at uh, Galariga Lemuru okay. that takes care of the HIV orphaned children. Mm -hmm. So if there is somebody with a a case like that eh, can always um, okay. eh, come to us and we will see how to help. Maybe there's someone who has something that yeah. uh, they can channel to you yeah. that you can be able to take to those who are in need. Exactly. How can they, how can they uh, con exactly. contact you? We, we always have Nene, what we call the emergency appeals. Eh? Mm -hmm. those, those are the ones that we talk about, the Nene, short-term uh, service. Eh? relief service that we give. Uh, sometimes you hear us talk about we, we, we are now mobilizing for the staff or a donation syndicate mm -hmm. uh, because we would want to go visit to those homes. Uh, sometimes we have other communities that uh, people are crying they don't have food mm -hmm. uh, during the time of Nene. The dress is on like, like now. So you always find us uh, uh, talk about whoever is willing either as an individual, through an institution, or even as a, as a group, they can always channel their donations in the kind through Caritas Nairobi, and we always make sure that those donations, they reach to the people who are intended. Yes, so apart from that, then we also talk about Nene, the support to the youth and agenda. Okay. We have our, our gender program that takes care of the the, the, the basic issues like the, the gender-based violence yes. and the love of the, the families. We talk about promotion of the human rights, uh, where people are denied um, 
denied their justice right. with their, their uh, uh, supporting them and we also take care of the issues of the youth. Eh? Okay. Actually, we, we are doing a lot of psychosocial support eh, to all these, these groupings. Eh? Mm -hmm. And so actually what I'm saying is that uh, Caritas Nairobi is a partner who is there for all the people who are in need. Eh? During the time of problems, after the time of problems, and even during the normal circumstances. So we are there as a partner who is ever present. A partner in need, that is a what partner in need. Nairobi is all yes, about. Yes. And uh, I'm sure we have a lot of uh, points that we can get from your program. Yeah. And uh, we thank you for explaining to, to us and to the viewers what Caritas Nairobi is all about. Yes. The social development arm of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. Yeah. Wish you all the best thank and we you. pray that God may accompany you as we accompany the needy people in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. Yes. That is uh, Nairobi and Kiambu counties. Yes. Your last word, sister? We thank God for the gift of His Eminence, Cardinal Joy. He has been a gift uh, not only to the Archdiocese of Nairobi, but to the entire community of Kenya. And from us, Caritas Nairobi, we can only say that he supported us and he built our capacity to be able to continue doing the good work that he was able, able to do. And so what we are saying is that uh, for the sustainability of the good work he has started, you can count on Caritas Nairobi. Counting Thank on you. Caritas of Nairobi, that is the social development arm of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. We wish you, sister, all the best, and may God accompany each one of you as you contribute to the growth of the, the people of God here in Archdiocese of Nairobi, uh, taking charge of the Nairobi and Kiambu counties. From us here, may God bless the work of your hands as he has done to the Caritas Nairobi, partner in development. And Capuchin TV is proud to associate itself with Caritas Nairobi Archdiocese. God bless you, and may God answer your prayers. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Ascent.